Welcome to a hands-on Azure Data Studio video tutorial. My name's Alex, and I'll be your video guide throughout this book. Today, we're going to cover our top five time-saving extensions in Azure Data Studio that we use all the time, which by the way, is in no particular order. Extensions can be very powerful, and they're a way for the community, not just Microsoft, to add features and functionality to the application for a tailored end-user experience. To learn how to install these extensions to your system, you can view our Installing Extensions video, which will be in the description of this video. Now that you know what to expect, let's get hands on. First on our list is SQL Server Schema Compare. This is a Microsoft extension that allows an easy to use experience to compare DACPAC files and databases and apply changes from the source to target. This is very handy as we tend to develop on a dev server and then migrate or deploy to a test. And finally, a production server. Using a Schema Compare program is a great way to see what changes were made as well as to create a deploy script. When using the Schema Compare extension, the first thing I do is identify the servers that hold the databases that I'd like to compare. The databases I'll be looking at today are called BimmelSnap v2, which are on two different servers on my network. Notice the green dot next to the two databases signifying their active connections. To open the extension, you can either right click on the active connection and choose Schema Compare, or open the command palette with F1 and search for the compare extension. Now that I'm in the extension, I'm going to choose my source server and database, as well as my target server and database. I'll then click the compare button to view the resulting schema comparison. I see there are seven objects that I have changed since my last development. I can instruct the extension on which changes to include or not to include by clicking the associated checkboxes. I can also see specific information about each change in the Compare Details section. Finally, I'll click the Apply button and the changes will be propagated. Second, we'll be looking at Simple Data Scripter. This extension provides a quick and easy way to migrate data between tables by generating insert scripts based on the result set of the query. This is handy for smaller tables or for populating target databases which are on a disconnected server. This capability works directly from the table context menu. I'll go to my desired database and table and right click to select script table data. This will give me a little pop-up with the syntax for a simple select statement that will return all rows. I could modify it if I'd like, but for today, I'm just going to use the generated statement as is and press enter. The extension has now scripted out all of the contents of this table by using an insert statement followed by select statements which are all unioned together. Next on the list is Simple Data Flow. This extension allows you to copy a table from one server to another server, which can be very time consuming and cumbersome without the extension. This works for any size table, but does require that your source and destination tables exist on the same network. My goal here is to copy a populated table, which I have labeled dtime, in my test database under my PC7 server, to an empty table in my test database under my SRV6 server. I'll start by opening the simple data flow extension from the command palette. I'll select the source connection and the destination connection. Then, I'll type in the select statement, select destination schema and destination table, which is the same name, just on a different server. I will also choose to truncate it, even though it is currently empty. This is because the extension will generate a PowerShell command line that is reusable, and perhaps in the future, I will want to be sure the table is empty before repopulating. Finally, I'll place the command in the terminal window. Once I hit enter, it will invoke the PowerShell script and the data flow will then run. Following simple data flow is the query history extension. This tool keeps track of the queries that you enter in the event you'd like to refer to it later. This becomes especially important in the event you accidentally close a query window before saving it. 
or if you'd like to review a series of queries you've issued to ensure you didn't miss a step. It's also great in that as soon as you install it, it starts recording your queries. Functionality-wise, it's pretty straightforward. If I'm in a query window, I can easily access the Query History tab below. By choosing this, I can see it brings back the list of commands I performed while recording this very session. To finish off the list is Sandance for Azure Data Studio. This extension gives you a way to create quick visualizations of your data. It's very helpful when you are trying to understand your data, as well as to present your findings to others, like your boss. To demonstrate how this works, I'm going to use a query from my car crash database that I already have on my system. It's a list of car accidents that happened within the five boroughs of New York City during a seven-year time period. I'll run the query so we can then use the Sandance Analytic extension. Since I already have Sandance installed, I have a shortcut to it on the right side of my results pane titled Visualizer. If I click it, it will take the data results and put it into an appealing visual. Now, this visual is close to what I'm looking for, but I can alter the way it looks just with a few clicks. Let's say I want it to be 3D. I simply click 3D view at the top right of my screen and the visual is now a three-dimensional model. I can also adjust filters like the Z-axis, X-axis, colors, sort by, and many other filters to make it very specific to my needs. Once I am finished altering, my data can now be viewed with a new and compelling perspective. Thanks for tuning in to another hands-on Azure Data Studio book video tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about these extensions, please visit bitracks.com or email info at bitracks.com.